Hello and what is up everybody, Cliff Biggs here. Once again playing some more Octopath Traveler. We last left off, I made a new friend. Hey. His name is Alf. Must be level 10 or higher for this person. Why do I have to be level 10 or higher for this person? What makes them so special, huh? Why do they think they are special, huh? Take a short rest. But I just did that at the end. Oh, okay. Later that night. Hmm. I wonder how Zelf's doing. I shouldn't worry. He'll be fine like always. You know, I... You know, Zeph. I'm giving it all to be the best apothecary I can be. To be more like you, you know who. But sometimes, I feel like I'm still so far away. <sighs> yeah, that's right. All it takes is a stiff breeze to blow this backwater village right off the map. And yet, this is where I was born and raised, where I learned my craft. It's got grouchy Greta's who ain't never seen smelling. Meryl's got her act together, but she still needs a shoulder to cry on every now and then. Gotta keep an eye on old Keith Clough. And you, Zeph. I've been giving you a hard time since the gods knows when. You invited me to study together with you under your father. Took care of the books after we went into our business together. <laughs> right, what was I thinking? I'd better stick around here after all. Now then. But not here. I gotta go see how Zeph's loading up. Yeah, just a uh, moonlight, you know, think to yourself. Ooh, there's an axe there. Can I take that axe? Elf, she's dead! I killed her! The flame take me! It worked! Nina's feeling better by the hour! <laughs> I knew it. With you on the job, was there ever any doubt? Thank you, Alfin, for everything! You... you saved my sister's life! How can I ever repay you? Don't even mention it. I helped out someone in a bind. Simple as that. Those words. How dare you speak those words? When we were still small and the great pestilence came. Father could cure every disease known to man, but for the first time. He was at a loss. He needs to come here cure this like yay. Then one day, a traveler came to town bearing an elixir the likes of which we'd never seen. Oh my gosh. Do I have to play through all of Al's uh, story because I didn't start this... off with Alf? Thanks, mister. Hey, this door. But Why'd you save me? We ain't got no money, you know. Listen, son, and listen well. Don't you son me? I saw someone in a bind, and I helped him out. Simple as that. Shucks. I hope I can do that too someday. Ever since that day, you've worked your damnedest to become just like your hero. To help people out, just like he did. Oh, um, is that how it went? Alfin? 
We've been together forever now. Will you marry me? So I can tell. You want to leave this place, don't you? You want to travel the world and help as many people as you can. Just like him. Oh yeah, I need to leave this place, you know. Like, this isn't Silent Hill where we're just stuck in a damn city for the entire damn game. I mean, I am in this city of town. <laughs> I'm not daft, you know. So you are not daft, punk. But still, this is my home. I know you're a skilled apothecary, Seth. At least as good as, no, probably even a little better than me. But I can't leave you to look after the whole village on your own. Besides, who else would cut your ego down to size? Who'll listen to Curtis's grumblings and Meryl's tales of unrequited love? I will. I'll do it all. Huh. Don't you worry about anything. I'll see that the villagers are happy and healthy. I swear it on my life. So go out and see the realm mouth. Do it with your heart at ease and your head held high. Um, shucks. There wasn't an um in the subtitle. He said, um, but it wasn't an um in the subtitle. Guess what, Ma? I'm going on a journey. Uh, his story better Time be over. Time to see I mean, just how far my talents will go. The intro to his story better be over. I kind of want to travel, not forcefully have to I'm play his save damn folks start. the world over, just like the man who saved me. Keep an eye on me, would ya? Elf! Oh my fucking god! Just let me Thank go. Thank gods, you're still here. Oh, come on, Seth. I didn't ask for a going away party. <laughs> Just a little present for the road. It's nothing special, but... Is it a new battle axe? I want axe? you to take my satchel. Damn it. I was hoping for a battle that axe. Way, no matter how far you travel... I'll be right there with you. I ain't creepy at all. Wow. Uh, you weren't kidding when you said it's nothing special. Wow. What a dick. Uh, it was the only thing that came to me. What a dick. Thanks, Seth. I'll take good care of it. Here, why don't you hold on to mine, too? Now there's a plan. I'll put it to good use, Alf. So can I sell that statue at some point or another? And buy, like, a better statue? Alrighty, then. See you around. Be safe out there, friend. I'll set forth on this journey to travel far and wide and ease the pain of the sick and suffering just as one man once did for him little did he know what awaits him in his travels am I done? great can I stop setting okay good oh my gosh freedom wait what's this up here why is she red why are you red miss a resident of clear book who enjoys everything about her home from the quiet river and warm sunshine to his kind-hearted part of people. A hidden item. Nice chatting with you. A new treasure is available somewhere. The fuck's that supposed to mean? Nice day, isn't it? My name's Meryl. Say, would you mind lending me an ear if something happened that I can't tell anyone else? You see, I found a bottle flowing in the river. Odd thing is, it was a letter inside. Want to know what it said? To my marrow, I love you dearly, but had no choice but to put you in the care of another. I hope you found happiness 
wherever life has taken you from far away your mother. But I have parents right here in Korea book. I want to ask them about this, but I'm scared of what they'll tell me. You're adopted. You're literally adopted, me. That's what they'll tell you. Inquire. This old woman has carried, uh, was carried to clear book by the whims of fate, much like the waters of the river she waits and watches over. Perhaps she hopes that in days, in that in time, it will cleanse her for a lifetime of sin and banditry of murder or worse. Or perhaps she seeks only to live out of her days in a quiet damnation. Well, hot damn. That turned real unexpectedly. Hey, I'm pretty sure that glowing blinky thing there is the item. S in the plums. Nice. But holy shit. Well, that's a description and a half. You know, you just like straight up just, you know, talking to them to all of a sudden. According to my research, the snakes in having the cave are reholes, be they large or small, can be lopped into two with a few solid swings of an axe. And as the frog is that roams the roads will not go down so easily, but so long as you, one has the means to freeze the damnable things, one should muddle through. Oh, okay, so all the frogs are basically weak to ice, and all the snakes are weak to axe. Well, that's good to know. Run a bit faster, did I? Yeah, I already inquired about you. Ah, oh, hi there, kitty. Did I inquire about you? A loving mother who cares for her daughter more than anything in the world, she is always there to encourage Meryl whenever she loses heart. A hidden item. Thank you. Hello. Ah, hello there. Have you seen my daughter Meryl around by any chance to be had? And she's worried that she's adopted, which she probably is. Let's be honest. Oh, okay. So I take it whenever we talk to someone, it says like, Oh, a hidden item has been found. That's what they meant. A young apothecary of Clearbrook, Zeph lost his parents to a great pestilence at an early age and therefore had to care for his sister Nina by himself as she is his sole surviving family. He felt this responsibility keenly and has resolved to place her welfare on his behalf. Nice chatting with you. Hey. I use my skills as a apothecary to keep the people at Clearbrook clear and healthy. A spirited and sociable young resident of Claire Books, despite his pronunciation frown and endless strings of complaints about his fellow villagers, it's no secret that in truth he cares quite deeply for them all. Nice chatting with you. <laughs> I'll tell you, I village is a real piece of work. Alf always grizz me fish that he catches from the river, but he saved the biggest one for himself, of course. If it weren't for Alf, you'd be coughing our lungs up every day, and don't think he'll let us forget that for a second. And then there's Meryl, would it kill her to acknowledge me from time to time? Damn it! Just the other day, I gave her flowers, but she just mumbled thank you and kept the staring off in the distance. I swear it's like her mind is somewhere else. Maybe she didn't want the damn flowers, you damn fucking asshole. Some time ago, this young boy received word that his grandfather would be coming to clear book to see him. Even now, he waits with bated breath for the elderly man to arrive and hears tales of the road that the boy so thoroughly enjoys. Your grandfather's dead, kid. Just deal with it. My grandpa's traveling the world. He promised to bring me a gift of plenty. I can't wait to see him. Resilient nut. That's what she said? A man who cares deeply for his daughter Meryl, his pride and joy is always the first to rush to her side and ties the need to achieve Meryl's not his child by birth, a effect which the poor man does not have the heart to share. Meryl's pass. Nice chatting with you. The fact is... No father has ever been more proud of his daughter than I am and Meryl. I love her dearly, but she doesn't know the whole story. Well, I just inquired and learned the whole damn story. Like, I literally just inquired and learned the whole damn story. Oh, can I now tell Meryl that she's adopted? Meryl, you're adopted. I just figured it out. 
I say, my name is Mero Say. Would you mind lending me air or something? You have in bottle floating. Yes. You're adopted. What's this you say? I was. What's it? I'm not? You're saying I wasn't born here? But that can't be true! That's impossible! Mero, knock it a fuck off before we pull out the shotgun and old yell you like we did our real door. Wait, what? I fear it is, my love. Father, mother! Forgive us, my dear. We should have told you long ago. It was 90 years ago. A woman came to our doorstep carrying a small babe! With tears in her eyes, she told us that the child's name is Darren and begged us to look after the child until she could turn shit. We had no choice of our own, though we won for them. It was a gift from the heavens. But, shut the fuck up. We waited for your mother to come back and claim you, but the weeks turned to months, months turned to years, and time we came to take you as our own daughter. We may not be your flesh and blood, but we love you more than anything in the world. Damn it! You lied to me! I must find the person who wrote this message. Forgive me, but she must have answers, and answers I've been longing to search for. Do what you must, Mo. Much we sail, pray that the flames guide you path. Thank you. Whoever put this bottle in the water must be able to somewhere along the river. I should pack my thing. I'll find the person who wrote the letter. I'll find the answers I seek. And with that, we just broke up a family. Well, at least I got 1500 bucks for that. And resilient nut. Well, I'm a certified home record for that one. Literally ruined that person's home. Did I have to tell Meryl any of that? No. Why'd I do that? Just because I felt like it. Absolutely destroyed her home. A proud son of Claire Book, this fisherman reads the winds and water like an educated man reads his letters and could bring home a king bounty every day if he saw fit. I love the river, however, he takes only what he needs and leaves what he does not. A hidden item. I see the hidden item up there. I mean, not really hidden, but I see it. This is a poem, right? What? Huh? I don't know. You, you got a quest for us. Ha! It's an ill-fitted time to be a fish, I tell you. The plunders are disappearing from these water. God knows only why. How can I feed my kid if my nets come up empty? Are you supposed to give him food? Are you supposed to throw shit in the water? What am I supposed to do for his damn quest? I don't know what to do. Damn, how are you? Well, we're definitely fully healed, so skills, learn skills. Oh, I have 100 job points. Um, he has shots, physical defense, panther disc, increases speed. In learning your skill, you unlocked a new support skill. Oh shit, what the fuck? You can now equip support skills. Um, uh, can't do any more for you, but what the hell is this? Learn more skills to lock additional support skills. Don't forget to equip them. The show goes on. Status augmentation you grant to add, um, allies will persist for one additional turn. Oh, that's cool. So if I give him a speed boost, it'll stay for three turns rather than two turns. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so that just tells you about their story, but I don't care about the damn stories. I want information about the side quest I picked up. Like, how do I see the side quest that I picked up? Eh, oh well. I 
I don't know what to do about you. Alright. I mean, there's no point staying around town if I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do about that guy. So let's go ahead and journey, shall we? What oh, you know, fuckers. Huh? You fools. What the- I'm ready. I was right. hoping to kill a fool. Try! <laughs> Try again. I think I literally just murdered everything and everyone. Alright, yeah, I kind of forget. I'm kind of like just dragging along this random chick here. Odds and ends. What the hell is that? I picked up something called odds and ends, but I don't know what it is. Increases max XP. Oh, actually, that's good. I'm gonna put that on her. Oh, odds and ends. Fetches a modded price if sold. Okay, there we go. Elemental resistance. And that's just restores. Alright. Fuck the both up! Okay, bug is weak to axe. That's ready. good to know. Town person, get in here and headbutt somebody. How dare you heal yourself? I am ready. That was not part of the plan. There is no healing. Ah, oh, sweet, a nice level up. And right now we're currently traveling to a desert. I do believe we're supposed to go to like what? A snowy area set? Oh, I think that's where the mountains on my mini map is pointing that I've yet to go to. What tangle, huh? Two flying types, eh? I am ready. Let's try Night a dark attack. Bring your shade. Okay, they did Bring not give on. a Fuck about that. Yeah. Cool off. Let's try an ice attack. Okay, did not give a fuck about that. Here we go. Hmm. Concord. And let's just poison the fox. How do you like this? You can have a little extra damage on you. Let's summon in the town folk here. Oh, you don't like us. I am ready. Probably should have just asked him a question, but I didn't bother. Grapes. I mean, that's nice and all. May I have this dance? I am ready. Take that. Out. All Ouch. right. Have your defense broken, all shit. Right. Uh... 
I'm ready. Should have killed him. Die. I am ready. Die. The show is over. No, not too care of that. Ooh, a save point. First is chest here, Herb of Awakening. I guess that's where door people have fallen asleep. Tell them to wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up and back the fuck off while we fuck this track up. Throw your hands up, ladies! May I have this dance? Oh, my fucking word. I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and summon the talents, folks, because she literally has an axe. Bring it on! Encore, Indra Seed. Eh, let's put one How do you sleep. like this? I'm ready. The lion down. All right. Fuck this one up. I'm ready. I mean, he definitely knocked him out of his sleep. That's for sure. The panther down. Let's increase your speed, shall we? There's nothing. That's what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, that was pointless. Hey! That mouth and icon moved. Maybe we're getting closer? A uh, wind soul stone, I'm guessing, does aerial damage. May I have this dance? Alright! All right. This calls for sure. Lock them both up. I'm ready. The show is over. Using special kills to fuck up all my enemies. Well, there was nothing up here, and that was a waste of time. Seriously, where the hell am I supposed to go? Like, I'm here, right? Oh, the Cave of Rhinos. That's where the damn icon is supposed to be. Clear books. South Border Pass. Alistair, Flames Grace, Swaki, Woodlands, Frostlands. Oh, this is where we need to go, because remember I said something about a cold place. Flatlands, Coastlands, Highlands, Sunland, Riverland, Keltland, or Cliffland. Oh, that's sweet. They acknowledge me. Okay, so I need to go here to Frostland. So it looks like I need to go up and to the right. But first, we're going to meet with Theron. Oh, wait, this is where I need to go. So, can I just keep going up and straight to it? Although, it is recommending level 21 before I get here, though. Alright, so let's go to Deeron, shall we? I walked three fucking steps and you here fuckers appeared. Oh my gosh. This calls for certain. Ouch. I am ready. Take that. I am ready. Take it again, right. damn it. Take that again. I am ready. The show is over. Level seven, that's good to know. Alright, so we're on the right level to meet up with um, whoever this person is and Sweet. All of the life. I don't really need it. May I have this dance? Oh my gosh. Exit. 
Executors. All right. Um, let's try this. Nighthood, bring your shade. Here don't we go. Don't give a damn about darkness. So let's try. This calls for sure. An axe attack. I am ready. Well, that's good to know. They don't like axes. Here we go. Holy shit! They can take a lot of damage. Ouch. Okay, don't care about knights at all. I like, right. literally do not care about knights. Right. Care about Try that axe, still. Criminals, nines, alf, fines, or alf is seven. We just killed your birds. I am ready. Your eggs. All yeah, right. Piss off. Bring it How on. Dare you increase his speed? How do you like this? I am ready. Be super confused. I'm gonna go ahead and summon this lady in. He also has an axe. Ouch. Stop kicking Here this guy's go. axe. Let's get down. Now I die. Am. The lion I'm gonna make him stronger. Alright. I am ready. Then, after making him stronger, I'll the make him faster. Again. Oh, that was not necessary. Summon Litsy killed it. Gosh, darn it. Oh, sweet, a save point. Like, I could bother to heal up, but I feel like I'm just so close to leveling up, there's gonna be no point. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Here goes nothing. Let's just I'm break ready. your face. Staff ya. Alright. There you dead. Why are you dead? Cause I wanted you dead, that's why. Actually, let's do the dancers attack. Let's make the our guy faster down. here so he can actually hit more of these things. Ouch. Ouch. Bring it on! I am ready. And then let's make him strong as well. Down. Bring it on! Ready to have something up. F this thing up, damn it! I am ready. I am ready. Here we Die. go. I am ready. Die, 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 die! The show is over. Really pointless traveling to the next city. Hey. Well, the map still turns red, so we're still in a danger zone. Yeah, you know, I should have went back to that cave area where I was like, fuck that place. What a tangle, huh? Good, I surprised him. Here I can go. attack first. Yeah. And let's this try this. Oh, well, they're both weak to axe. That's good to know. I am ready. Naito, bring your shade. I don't know if they're weak to darkness because the they kind of just died. Level 8, let's go. I wonder when, like, Pimrose gets warmer clothes. Would it actually change her outfits or no? 
Oh wait, which way you said the village was? Nice Goroki Trail to north. May I have this dance? I am ready. Night now then, let's find out if you're actually in the darkness. Oh no, you fuckers do nothing. not care about that. This calls for certain. I am ready. What about a knife? Ah, oh, you care about a knife. Ow. How ready. dare you shoot me? Here goes nothing. Ha! <laughs> Try again. Really are just, you know, bringing this woman across the world here. I'm pretty sure this is not what she had in mind when she went like, ooh, pretty dance. Slippery nuts. I feel like that's a, sh that's a, you know, here we a, go. that's a what she said yeah. right there. All right, so that raccoon, I mean, not that raccoon. Nighthood, bring your shade. Nothing is weak to darkness anymore. I am ready. Who the fuck told you you can heal? Bring it on. Okay, you don't care about action damage. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's try a little bit of. How do you like this? I am ready. Oh, sweet, he hit himself. <laughs> Die, you stupid that's what I'm thing. Talking about. Badger, that's what you was, a badger. I was like, what the hell is that thing? I should remember what it was, but I couldn't. Um, let's go ahead and do some healing here, shall we? Recommended level seven. We're right beyond that. Want to tangle, huh? You don't want Bring these hands, okay? <laughs> no one wants these hands. Oh, right. You guys don't care about access. I am ready. Since you guys don't care about access, something tell me you're like the sword types. I am ready. Ouch. The lion's Make myself stronger here. I'm not exactly that strong to begin with. Ah, shit. What's the big idea? I am ready. You can take all of this! Here we go. Alright. Um, actually, you can go ahead and use a... Oh, let's try this. How do you like this? You yeah, care about wind damage. I don't know if you care about wind damage because you kind of die. All right. <laughs> That's what well, I'm talking about. I don't think wind damage was doing much. Eh, I'll figure out what those chip mumps don't like in a eventually. Perfect of awakening. So I'm assuming we're gonna get stuff that can put us to sleep real soon. Take that. I am ready. Get your shield broken. Bring it on. Get axe. 
I'm Ow, ready. how dare you. Die, 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 die! Bring it on. <laughs> Try again. Rat archers. All right, we'll continue making our way to all these reject Pokemons. Flame Grace is that way, Sasaki is down. Boulder is down. Uh, so we need to go down and get the uh, Sasawa? I don't know, I'm probably butchering the name. Sweet, an axe there that I cannot take because I can't get up there. I'm assuming somebody gives us jump. Oh, who wants these hands? All right. I am ready. I am ready. Here goes I was kind of hoping to kill. I am ready. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Break their defense huh, and send them again. to the hell. Primrose is level 10. So lucky. Inquire about this lady! This proprietor is lucky and this man of the coastland came to the village after growing in ember with the thoughts of living in the woods in recent times he has 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 to play host to a lie about of a little brother and it's nearing the end of his teether provoke like a pro good day this is so lucky home to a clan of hunters that has lived in dark woods since time of yours Luminous, she does light damage, eh? Um, I'll give up straight for that. Admit it, wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? The look is like a dance I saw at a tavern in a desert town. Hey, come here. Alright. Alright, hey, you go to a new town. You just have to pick up a new bra, that's all, you know? One must train his mind and body every day to become as the best he can. The fuck does that even mean? Like many children in Sakura, he was raised from birth to become a hunter. He barely remembers his mother, who died when he was quite young, and has struggled to live up to the expectation of his harsh, unforgiving father. The man would have had his son be headman one day, but the boy would rather be anything but. Wow, that was... That got deep real quick. 36 bucks to stay at night. My god, that's highway robbery. Oh, the store. Um, let me see. What's it called? Oh, odds and ends. Luckily, he puts it at the top of the list for me. After that, there's all this stuff. Ooh, a battle axe? Oh, um, that is a lot of damage. There you go. You can have a battle axe. Now then, who can use the bow? None from my, no one on our team. Okay, I'm assuming the bow is for the new person coming in. Brown's helm. Looks like he'll do more for Pimrose. Bronze armor, it would help the both of them. Can I afford another one? I can afford another one. Alright, let's go ahead and sell this. Alright, and let's 
can we buy? We got composite bow. Round shield for Penrose might be a good idea because she doesn't have the round shield. But it doesn't look like it does much for her defense. Oh no, it lowers her defense. Oh, okay. That's good to know. What's yours? L Inquire. Unable or unwilling to secure honest work, this man impose on the goodwill of his family until they finally cast him out in disgust. With no one left to whom he might turn, he comes to Squawky to see his brother, who he now spent his days concocting even ever more ridiculous schemes that require altogether too much money. Discount at the end. Wow, that was a hell of a story. Hey, no visitors allowed. Also, damn it, I could have used that way earlier. Be with ye. This village has been home to hunters since birth of dawn, or history of so legend saith. Many like hunters this. and hunters of dark woods have earned great acclaims hunting beasts and fiends across the realms. Contrary to expectation, the headsman of Squawkey well, has little talent for hunting. However, he knows well the lays of Darkwood, and his people set great stores by his wisdom. Nevertheless, they will allow that he has a pendant for using hundreds of words when ten will suffice. I mean, damn. Inquire is as scary as ability. You just learn so much about people. Must be level 12 or higher to inquire about this person. Can I inquire about this person? Nope. Oh, right. They're the main story person. This young man's parents were slain by a wild beast when he was but a child and were, if it not for the timely intervention of a hunter and his dire wolf, he too would have surely perished. He has resolved to follow in his footsteps of the man who has saved his life and end the train endlessly. Oh, that Hello was sad. There. I train every day that I might one day be even half as skilled as a bull as Master Zahan. Must be level 10 or higher to inquire about this person. Pointed shot. Eh, not yet. Bust this door open! The fuck? Can't acquire or allure? Well, Matt Traveler, what can I do you for? Change party's equipment. Here it tells. Your party, uh, the character, this character is not in your party. You have to complete a previous chapter to hear a tale. Okay, what the hell is the point of that person? Alright, how much time do I have for a stream? I'm probably gonna have to deal with this person. Be with ye. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to open the door and invade your home, damn it. Alright. No. The save. Looks like the party can be up to four people, I'm assuming, by the looks of it. I understand it's not for what reasons would such a beast come to our woods. Doubtless, Harris, some greater ills that comes our way. What the fuck is this language? Her name is Hyatt, and she is a hunter, one of the last descendants of her proud and ancient clan. She makes her home here in Swalk, deep in dark woods. The seasoned hunters roams the forest with Lynn, her fast friend. Her fast friend? What the fuck's a fast friend? Though Hermione often turns to her master, who left the village one year ago on a dangerous hunt from which he has yet to return. What the fuck's a fast friend? When a local noble came seeking aid, she answered the call and was tasked with hunting a vicious beast that plagues the nearby forest, and so she made for Whispered Woods her loyal companion, Lynn, at her side. She will need fierce allies on the path she has chosen. Uh, 
I'll even give me a choice of uh, who I start with if I still have to play all their damn story start points. One year ago. Good. Thou hast yet to depart. My cheetah could be a wolf. Waylaid by sentiment, my girl. It did ill behooven me to leave without bidding my favorite prentice a fare thee well. A joke, as always. Will thy journey be long, master? Ah, a good question, that. The request cometh from none other than the knights are doubt. The hunt will take us to distant lands, and the beast we pursue in is a fearsome one. I see. Ha ha ha! Look and not so glum, girl! I'm no Tyro with green arrows and bruises on his bow arm. I'll do the deed back before two moons have passed. I'm assuming it means two months, as the cycle of the moon was used to calculate months and a full moon was considered a end of a month and a new moon was considered a new month. Still no smile? What is it, my girl? It is not tonight? the hunt that concerneth me. Thou intendest to stop and off somewhere along the way. The fuck is this language? Just speak very language, damn it. Oh, here and there may happen. Why dost thou ask? Thou forgettest or feignst ignorance, so I will remind thee. On the last hunt, thou gambledest away thy purse and came back a poorer man than thou left. So he's a bit of a gambler. In coin, mayhap. Yes, I did make a few wagers at the arena in Victor's Hollow. And learned that while I have a keen eye for assessing the strength of beasts, I am quite at a loss with men. A valuable lesson that was cheaply bought. Not so cheap in the end. Eliza had to pay in thy debts, and thou only finished its paying her back this last moon. Promise in me, master. No more foolish gambling. Just speak regular <laughs> English. But what of the old hunters saying? If the first arrow faileth, knock a second and try again. Thou just madest that one up. Come now, girl. Thou art too young by half for such world-weary sighs. Must thou makest our parting so gloomy? I already don't if like I this one to just for his way to speak. Looking after Master, for he can rarely be bothered to look in after himself. <laughs> Takest her side against me, old friend? He knoweth good sense when he heareth it. Just speak regular English, damn it. <clears throat> Growlest thou not at me, thou faithless turncoat? Oh my gosh, this is so. Hail, Hanit. Have you come to see us off? I have come in to warn Master about straying from the path. And I thank you for it. I do not have the leaves to pay another debt like that. Have I not a single ally in this infernal village? Oh, I can't speak for anywhere. I am your friend, but I am also a Knight Ardant, and your client. You would do well not to forget this. Not for a moment. 
Yet most honorable Lady Eliza of the illustrious Knights Arnant. <laughs> That's more like it. Fear not. I'll keep him out of trouble. I'll have him fill his evenings penning a detailed account of our adventures on the hunt. Taken care, and may thine arrows strike true. I shall look after the forest till the day of thy return. Oh my gosh, knock out the damn LARPing already! Thank thee, my girl, and farewell. I already hate this chick just for the damn LARPing. A year hath passed since that day. Uh, do you mean like two lunar eclipses? Or like two blue moons? Because holy shit. In all that time, Master could only be bothered to send in a single letter. Just be regular, damn it. Honnet, tis me, thou revered Master. Missest me? I won't bore thee with any blather about the weather or the season. Who knoweth when this will even arrive, after all? For three months now, I have pursued the trail of the beast sought by the Knights Ardant. A beast by the name of Red Eye. That's their name for it, leastwise. As for its true name, if it even hath one, none can say. But on my father's bow, I swear, tis the most vexing quarry I've ever had the misfortune to hunt him. It eludeth mine every trap, and, though thou may think it me mad for saying this, I swear it can even senseth every move I make. I know not if it is human intelligence or pure animal instinct, but either way, it refuseth to be caught. Still, we appear to have annoyed it sufficiently that it is moving on to new pastures. Judging from its behavior, I believe it meaneth to make for the lands around Stonegard. I will be frank with thee, my girl, for thou hast always been able to see through my pretenses. The chase will be hard, and the hunt will not end up soon. But fear not, for endeth it shall, as thou ever knowest your master to fail in the hunt. And so I ask thee, my dear apprentice, Pray look after the village until I return. Oh, and be not a worry, Wart. Always thy friend and teacher, Zanta. Never heard Master admitteth that any hunt would be difficult. Either this red eye is truly the most formidable of beasts, or he stoppeth in every gambler's den from here to Stoneguard. Okay, you stop it with this language. Master liketh to act in the fool, but when it cometh to hunting, if he saith he will catcheth his quarry, then catcheth it he will. <sighs> yes, Linda, I know. Master entrusted the safety of the village to me. My duty now is to the villagers. Come in. Let him us visit in the headman and see if anyone hath need of my bow. Holy larping. Jeez. My God. All right, guys. That's where I'm going to go ahead and end this stream here. So if you like this type of content, and you'd like to see more of this type of content, please be sure to tune in during my regular attempted streaming time frame of 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'll be streaming more of the hell I like. If you'd like to catch up on anything I can miss, you can always just tune into the VODs or my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Cliff Beast the Best, because you know I am. 
You can also use exclamation mark YouTube to get that link, as well as exclamation mark Discord for after stream shenanigans. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead, wind this down here, and if you're watching the VODs or the stream, this is where I say bye, internet!